Hey guys, welcome to Additional Messages. Alright, so it's been a while since we've um, had some, you know, readings on the channel, which I do apologise, um, but we're here now, which is great. I've got my cough, um, so I'm going to be sleeping on that. <laughs> Apologies in advance, mate, but it's going to happen. Alright, so we're going to do this. Alright, so there's confusing times here for someone, apparently. Alright, you may be struggling with this, battling against all odds, I reckon. Um, okay, there's something relatable and a retaliation or bouncing back, overcoming odds and difficulties, challenges and obstacles, I reckon, right? There's a divine fire and a divine willpower installed for somebody here. Hmm. Okay, there's someone here, the truth hurts. All right, and um, for someone here, it's a divine intervention. There's divine intervention. And when they say divine intervention, guys, it's normally a pretty big deal. Um, it's a big deal. Um, there's uh, maybe a refusal of acceptance here for someone, a refusal to own up to something maybe, uh, to take accountability or responsibility for one's actions or choices or decisions um, regarding something. Uh, that could be a struggling factor on either party or either end or just a scenario, situation. Um, oh, okay, they're showing me um, a rainbow here and someone just said Lily of the Valley, um, but they're showing me the, a waterfall here and it's like a beautiful rainforest waterfall it's actually like projected outwards like it's like I'm viewing this from on top of a hill or something and looking out you know across the landscape and there's uh, peace peace be um, there's a rainbow as well across this landscape and it's beautiful uh, pristine waters clear waters clean waters there's a cleaning up aspect here or needing to feel that sense of purity or cleanliness in some way having a look at these things maybe on in whatever aspect of life um, participation they're saying partici participation efforts teamwork um, there could be something like that involved workplace here for someone Throw a dog a bone, <laughs> all right? Throw a dog a bone. <laughs> you may be feeling this way, mate. Oh, it's so cute. Every time I get a, dogs come through, mate, it's uh, I really get into that cute little doggy dog energy, which I just love, um, which is really weird. I don't know. It's a bit weird for me. Anyway, we better do your reading. And um, the spirit just said, and we're off and racing, and let's get cracking, all right? And they actually just showed me a little party popper of it. You know, crack the party pop up. Woo! All right, so let's go. Let's do this, guys. I hope you guys are being well. Uh, thank you so much for your patience. Uh, I do really appreciate. Okay, we got some toxic energy, guys. Uh, seems to be a bit of a deal there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, excuse my language. Ah, okay. Vulture. Okay, we're talking about toxic energy here. It could be anything. It could be dietary, it could be electromagnetic radiation, it could be somebody in your life. Uh, for someone here, this could be um, something to do with behavioral patterns such as uh, um, I can never say it, narcissistic, um, maybe personality traits or structures, it could be something like that. Um, but it's going to speak to everybody different. For someone here, it's microwave meals microwaved meals okay um with the radiation okay uh have a good look into these things um to do with personal health and stuff like that all it takes is a little bit of a you know research or google search on these things and um the truth is there to be found but this is also about how you're feeling about it okay and for somebody here don't believe all the lies that you've been told as well okay don't believe all the lies that you've been told okay and when spirit says that um, it normally talks about, um, like when they say that in my immediate reality, um, things are never as they seem, okay? And something which may be stated as fact might not be fact, okay? So have a look into this, guys. Whatever it is, there's toxic energy, okay? But this is about cleaning, cleaning it up. So the vulture is nature's cleaner, right? It gets to the bare bones of the situation and cleans that up, all right? Um... Something to do with something bedside, on someone's bedside table, a book, lamp, 
There's something there. Okay, that's what Spirit's saying. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know what that is. I don't know who that's for. They're just showing me that scene, okay? Um, all right, so we've got Scorpion here. Um, <laughs> they're making jokes now, which is painfully obvious, apparently. <laughs> all right, that's exactly what they said, so this is really, really funny. All right, so Scorpion talks about pain, okay? Uh, normally it's multifaceted. This can be uh, mental, emotional, physical, okay? Um, wow, okay? Um, it's a deal um, on any level, okay? But it's multifaceted. It could be multi-people, multi-aspect, um, multi-intelligence, or there needs to be some sort of intelligence within this situation, okay? I'm just retracting back to oneself because I let my mind get the best of me then. Okay, now considering that happened, um, you may want to have a look at this, okay, a retraction, don't let your mind get the best of you, um, if you can, okay, they're showing me the words self-restraint, alright, and it's coming down to self-control, they're showing me horse reins here, and having the reins in the situation, even if it's to do with mental thought processes and dialogues, okay, so if you really want a good book on this, okay, if you're into this sort of stuff, um, Eckhart Tolle, is fantastic, okay? Buddhism just in general, okay? Even the Tao Te Ching is fantastic for letting go of dialogue in the mind. Um, and also to this little book here, which is fantastic, okay? Um, really helps you um, remove the, well, not remove, but like be at peace with the mind and the mental dialogue with that mental chatter, okay? Um, because, you know, unpleasantness normally starts in here, um, not external factors like it may be a trigger point but the unhappiness is you know within the mind so if you're into this stuff and if you believe in that not everyone believes in that sort of stuff have a look into this stuff it might be able to help you um because this seems like a pain in the butt and um toxic it's it's just toxic like um they're showing me a radioactive um barrel okay with the radioactive sign and it's like leaking and now they're showing me um a scene from like the simpsons and like um the uh, radioactive liquid getting dumped, okay, just like wherever, and it's just like, it's careless. <laughs> Apparently it's careless. Now, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'm just delivering messages, right? But however that's speaking to you, it seems to be a bit of a deal. Um, and for somebody here, toxic energy presents or is presented in some way, okay? So keep your wits about you. Best be on your journey and best be on your way, right? So that's a deal. We've got... Um, Oh my goodness, keep, keep your humour, mate, keep your humour, it's funny, right? Um, and uh, Spirit just said the little things in life as well are important, the little things in life are important. Um, there's someone here with the desire to compete and achieve here, but I, oh okay, namaste just came through, um, but I'm feeling a retraction and a centering within oneself, okay, um, and letting that either aspecting or letting the past, there's some sort of letting go here, letting something go. All right, we've got self-acceptance is key. We've got Firefly in the reverse. Firefly normally talks about something which is mesmerizing, okay, which may not be so mesmerize, mesmerizing anymore, <laughs> maybe. Um, that's, oh my goodness, self-responsibility, guys. Okay, pull it all back in. Things are never as they seem, okay. Um, this is... Uh, the energy I'm currently experiencing is uh, on a frustrating level, okay, um, but it's just an energy, okay, it's just an energy. Um, goals, personal goals, motivations and ambitions. Shining the light on a situation, a topic, a lawyer here for someone, right, could be a lawyer, could be a deal. All right, um, getting a game plan together, getting your game on, and I just heard the words face off as well, which uh, might not necessarily be a negative thing. Um, the mask is coming off, or the face is coming off now. Okay, the face is coming off. Uh, we may start to be seeing things a bit clearly, okay, more clearer than what we did before, okay. We've got um, the sea serpent here. Uh, which talks about wrapping up of, uh, okay, this could be an emotional cycle here for someone, but normally a massive cycle, right? Normally this is something that takes years, um, it's, you know, to come to completion here. Um, now, the end is in sight here for someone, or second chances are in store, 
okay? So there could be second chances regarding this. Uh, there could be an emotional significance here. We may have some intuition or we could be struggling with intuition because it doesn't seem to be within its power. But whatever it is, it's a destined event or it's destined to be in some way. This is where life has dropped you, okay? And this is what's going on. Okay, so um, take it in your stride and um, they're saying better days ahead here for someone, but this is about you and your personal experience as well and bringing it back to self, all right? Um, there's a resounding influence here for somebody here, which is met and achieved. Well done, all right? Um, we've got the croc here, uh, which seems to be clamped or tied down in some way. This can mean brutality with, so with um, you know, someone's mouth, uh, not being able to see clearly or into the future, perhaps. This could be a deal. This is a burdening aspect. We're not going anywhere fast with this one. I'm actually going to pull an angel card um, off this. They're still saying better days ahead, okay? But when they say better days ahead, it normally means that we're going through really big challenges and struggles, mate. Um, and that's kind of the deal. Okay, so regarding the circumstance, regarding the circumstance, this is about higher education, all right? So we're learning things um, to do with this, okay? This could be uh, personal, up to personal interpretation, personal learning, uh, there could be a personal significance here. Uh, there could be education in some way involved, whether it be official studies or just life lessons in general or life studying. Um, the ability um, to learn. It's the ability to learn uh, more things. Never been down this road before. Like, that's kind of how it's feeling. It's like, um, you know, something's become apparent and we may have never been down this road before, but this is we're learning as we go. Um, there's a trip hazard here for someone, so mind your step. Um, try not to get tripped or caught up. Um, they're showing me someone just trip over a rock there. Um, there's somebody here that uh, needs to take into account their environment and I just got environmental standard as well. So I don't know whether that's to do with some sort of pollution or whatever. Um, but I'm seeing like there's hazards in the workplace um, or in a significant environment here. And um, somebody needs to pay more attention to their surroundings. Okay. Because um, I feel like the potential is here for someone to actually get injured or hurt. Okay. So please look into that. Um, and do what you can to be more aware of your environment, surroundings, and self-aware here. There's a catalyst on your journey here for someone, okay, which is up, up and coming, apparently. Okay, so um, when they say catalyst on your journey, it's, uh, you know, a catalyst. It's something that life would never have been the same if this person or if um, this didn't happen, right? Um, so that could be involved too, right? This could be a separate message or a carry on, right? We've got, wow, we've got optimism. Optimism here. Um, it's a balancing out of these things, I feel, for someone. If you're not feeling on top of your game, if you're not feeling optimistic now, you should be feeling optimistic soon. And I'm getting for someone here in particular, once Christmas is actually over, okay, <laughs> done and dusted. And the spirit show me someone going like this and going, well, thank God that's over and done with, all right? Like, thank God for that. It's like more stressed than what it's worth. Um, I'm, like, I'm sure, you know, I'm feeling like someone gets enjoyment out of the festive season, but it's just like, oh, what a mission, you know what I mean? Um, so if, if that's you, you may be feeling better, you know, after Christmas, after the New Year type deal. But we've got a sense of optimism here anyway. We've got miracle. Okay, a miracle in the reverse here for someone. Oh, my goodness. Just just when you think it's going to go to plan or, you know, things are going to change about, you know what? Um, life can change. Life can switch. Life can shift, okay? Um, that's part of the deal. All right, that's what life is. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. And that's how we heal. Um, but I'm feeling very, very happy uh, for somebody here because somebody has just got the magic happening, okay? The miracle is a bloody miracle. For someone else here, it could be a blessing in disguise, mate. Um, there's blessings precede this very moment, challenging times which have been overcome, and it's been challenging, mate. Like, um, really challenging. When they say blessings precede this very moment, it's like it has been a mission from God up until this point, and then, you know... It's blessings for putting up with, um, you know, going through or um, having the ability to keep moving forward within something, not letting something get the best of you, okay? Not letting something get the best of you. Um, so we've got miracles, and they're still saying blessing in disguise here for someone, okay? Um, for somebody else, it's in reverse. I'm not actually going to flip it upside down um, because with that energy and it being flipped upside down, it's like a why, why, why. But they're still saying blessing in disguise. There's a blessing in disguise. 
mother. All right? There could be mother energy involved um, regarding this situation. Okay, You could be the mother, you could be dealing with the mother, there could be a grandmother figure, uh, anything to do with mothering energy, uh, nurturing, growing aspect. The, oh, I'm kind of half picking up on a pregnancy deal here for someone, but I'm unsure how to feel about that. Um, like I feel like it could be a significant could be significant to somebody but I feel like the majority of people it's just the mothering energy okay there could be children involved within this um, we've got triumphant right and it did fall out by itself when all these cards fell out it was like off to the side um, we seem to have okay there's a triumphant miracle in progress oh my goodness this is really powerful for somebody they're saying blessings precede this very moment. There's a financial payout, a financial award, oh, um, reward that's incoming here for someone. Um, glory. Defying the laws of attraction and defying the laws of karma. Now, I'm not quite sure whether that's defying as in a good defying, as in... Um, Intelligence is needed, the same, uh, but whether this is a defying like an Excalibur, like a, you know, immoral ethics and a good one, defying in that way, or whether it's just defying, um, it could be a bit of a deal here, but this is overall positive, guys. This energy that I'm currently experiencing for whoever we're talking about here is positive, okay? So if it's not positive, if you feel like it's not positive for you, see what you can do to either change something, Drop the habit, okay, there could be a habit, dropping a habit um, to be able to achieve good results maybe, whether it be financially or personally speaking or in a partnership setting, okay, um, yeah, relationships, they're showing me the word relationships, love relationships here, uh, significant love relationships, and then they just said love abounds uh, with this one, so dropping into the heart with this one, let your heart be your guide, let your intuition be your guide, there's something off here, there's something wrong, there's something... Uh, not quite right, maybe regarding a situation here. Um, they're still saying don't let it get the best of you, but this is about you putting your best foot forward, okay, and coming from a good space um, and being able to be maybe open to change. There's a, some sort of significant life event here for someone, all right? But we've got the triumphants. Uh, help is here, help is here, they're saying, okay. Um, so... lack of transparency there's a lack of transparency here for someone or something okay regarding something and uh, this needs further investigation and they're showing me a, um, a magnifying glass okay and having, having a look having a look um, blessing in disguise and blessings proceed. So keep it up. You've got the ability to be able to achieve. We're going to do some psychic tarot for the heart. All right, let's see what else goes on. This is a formal acknowledgement. There's a formality here. Right, we've got uh, lead in the reverse. Okay. Uh, which is quite interesting. This can be talking about official people, boss figures, documentations, um, something that either doesn't seem to be within its power, putting on the back burner or refusing to give. Refusing to give, right? They're saying divine intervention. There's divine intervention here for some reason. Okay. Um, we've got strengthening bonds, which is in the reverse. This could have been an overtone or an overall energy of not strengthening bonds within a situation, a relationship, agreement, or contract. We've got manifest, which is in the reverse. Okay, there could be lack of manifestation on some sort of level and not being able to bring in um, what... They're saying better days ahead. Okay, not being able to bring in what it is you're trying to create within your life. Okay, but the same better days ahead. All right, so just trust the process one step at a time. Um, they're showing me the scene of Indiana Jones, you know, and um, what's the, um, oh, I've forgotten which one it is, where he's in the temple in, in Jordan, is it? And, and uh, he's doing that leap of faith deal. All right, so he's got this massive, 
you know, abyss and um, there's a huge gap and um, he's just got to take the leap of faith. This is about the Crusades and stuff. I love, I love Indiana Jones. Anyway, um, and uh, he just takes that one leap of faith, right? And he just, you know, he sucks up the guts, leap of faith, steps on the path that's invisible, okay? But it's not, I mean, it's there, okay? So um, there seems to be a bit of a deal here. Um, just give me two seconds. There's a refusal to let go in some way, okay? There's a refusing to let go in some way. Um, there's something else that needs to be met, okay? Whether it could be the, the letting go, okay? You may need to let go to divine process. This is just the way things are. Um, they're saying uh, devotion, surrender. Devotion, surrender. And they are saying blessed be, which is actually quite interesting, which is really reminding me of my Reiki teacher. <laughs> oh, I love her. Um, yeah, it's really, um, beautiful, loving, loving energy coming from a space of purity, um, and, uh, there's abundance here, there's something to behold, there's something to behold here, there's something incoming for you, and it's good, okay, I've just got a couple of words, so emotional, materially for someone, alright, um, this is dropping some sort of support, or supportive act, okay, regarding something, okay, this is um, simplification, and simplifying one's life, and reaping the rewards, mate, reaping the rewards, okay, so there's a destined event, there's something incoming here for someone, and this feels fantastic, okay, um, okay, they're still just showing me the, um, Indiana Jones and the Leap of Faith deal, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Always having a bloody panic attack, mate. You might be feeling this, all right? Um, so it's a bit of a deal, all right? But just trust yourself, all right? You, the shadowy, uh, someone just landed on their feet, right? Someone's just going to land on their feet. Everything's okay, all right? But it's difficult. And they're kind of having a giggle and this humor's coming through, right? Because... I mean, we really do take life so seriously, right? And I know I do, you know, coming from a bloody cappy, mate. We're the bloody epitome of freaking serious, right? And, um, you know, taking things too serious, cautious approach, got to have a plan, you know, don't do anything that's risky, you know what I mean? But it feels like times are changing, mate. Times are changing, all right? Because it's like, um, it's like someone has reached a certain point and it's just trusting the process of life and it's just like, you know, um, you may have gone through it, um, you may be going through it, you know what I mean, but uh, the more we surrender to the process, the more we're, we're able to flow and be free and feel that freedom, taking everything in your stride while self-healing. This is not about a repression or suppression of emotional energies or anything like that. This is a self-healing process. This is a journey, mate. This is a journey. We've got to do some spellcasters. Oh my goodness. Guys, crack up. What a sigh. I've just got a sigh of relief then. So I feel like for someone here, everything's going to work out okay. And I don't want to really say, you know, for someone here, everything's going to work out okay. Because I feel like everything's going to work out okay for everybody, mate. It's, it comes down to the ability to be able to perceive these things, making the most of it, and uh, mental imprisonment on the topic as well. Mm. Happiness is installed here for someone, right? Wow, emotional significance, they reckon. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's nice. Um, okay, we've got Emperor here. Emperor talks about boss, a bossiness, okay? Someone who... It's the card of Aries, okay, but they don't seem to be within their power. Okay, if we're talking about an Aries, um, they may be going through challenges or obstacles, some sort of... Um, it's a refusal to let go. Whoever this person is, it's a refusal to let go, I feel, um, for somebody here. Um, there could be some sort of... I'm still getting... Uh, Put back to a show, an act, a um, oh, well, whatever it is, they're saying right wing activation. Okay, when they say right wing activation, that's um, basically spiritual protection, all right? So, spirit's got you back here. Um, if you feel like you need extra protection regarding a situation or if you need help, um, someone's circumventing truth here. Uh, so, trying to find a way around the truth here. Um, things need looking at. Okay, so simplify this if you can. Say it how it is. This is how it is, right? End of story. And, uh, oh, okay, and someone over here just said, and don't back down, all right? This is just about. 
say in a sentence or two, or three, maybe, but two, and that's the way it is, non-negotiable, mate, non-negotiable, okay, now this could be on either end, this could be you or somebody else, okay, um, for somebody here, fortune telling services have been put on hold, um, okay, so you might be in, in, within this industry, okay, that could be a deal, um, there's some sort of temptation maybe, Being tested. Someone's being tested. Um, trial and error, they're saying. And that tested, I feel, is coming back down to... Um, it's almost coming through like a testing. Like as in like something is testing or a situation is testing in some way. Right? It's um, quite interesting. They're showing me a clipboard and check boxes and like, yep, 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 yep. Like that's a bit of a deal, okay, for someone or a situation. I <laughs> get the giggles up, right? Because the, the um, energy which just came through, it was almost like, oh, that's, you know, it's very flattering for some reason. So I, I feel like someone is always checking someone's boxes <laughs> in some way, which is, uh, that's nice. That's nice. <clears throat> We've got um, blessings proceed this very moment. <clears throat> Putting in the effort and it's paying off. Throat chakra, um, there could be a heavy communication vibe um, or communication or self-expression may be involved in some way. We've got, um, or, you know, struggling with those things. Um, we've got the tower in reverse. This is Scorpio energy. Tower in reverse normally talks about either something suddenly happen happening, which is now in the past, or uh, something that's not a surprise, okay? New foundations. Uh, this is a back to the drawing board. Fresh slate, maybe, as well, for somebody here, okay? Um, they're still saying refusing to let go, refusing to let go. All right, um, circumventing truth. Someone's trying to find find a way around the truth. Like it can't be so, it can't be so. All right, but it may be apparent, okay. Um, but let's look into this. All right, let's look into this and see what goes on. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. I just said the song, um, the roof, the roof. The roof is on fire, right? And then um, I saw up here, I've got the incense going, right? And I saw the smoke and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of smoke. And then I just checked just to make sure that nothing was on fire. All right. So um, when Spirit actually plays that song, uh, The Roof is on Fire, it may, um, <laughs> it, um, it could be tales of, of significance, right? But normally there's a heat aspect or a fire aspect and normally it's anger, like, uh, you know, it's a burning down the house, like burning down the house um, type vibe, okay? Um, it could be in any aspect. It could be flames of an argument. Keep an eye on anything like that, guys, okay? Because um, that could be a deal. But normally this talks about emotional aggression, okay, and emotional instabilities. This could be a deal, all right? So things need looking at and someone's firm within their power, all right, if you need backup, call for backup, and they're actually showing me a radio, and they're like, dispatch, <laughs> right, it's like a deal, all right, so have a look into that, all right, we've got the Ace of Wands here, which talks about, oh my goodness, I just heard it loggerheads, all right, so uh, we may be, you know, having disagreements, arguments, uh, fights, this could be about new beginnings, all right, this is the, can mean pregnancy and stuff like that, all right, could be a deal, it may or may not apply, but it talks about new beginnings, okay, so symbolic as well, um, achieve, trying to achieve hopes and dreams here, trying to achieve a fresh start, maybe, someone just wants to cut the crap and go, or get something done, or get something sorted, or get something achieved, um, the new beginnings seem to be within their power, right, uh, but something here is not a surprise, all right, um, we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is, um, okay, arguments. I'm, I'm really picking up on arguments. Um, and also, uh, there's some sort of tales here or stories, some sort of fallacy, um, perhaps um, like a, a falseness or an ins there's insecurities here, maybe some uh, immaturity maybe as well. Okay, so that could be a deal. Um, but don't freak out. And um, so her spirit just said, but wait, there's more. Okay, it's like free set of steak knives, right? Okay, so there can be more of this, all right? And the more goes on, the more meets the eye, all right? So we're going to do, um, oh my goodness, uh, the ancestors are with you, right? There this is. Um, we're going to do some Ascended Masters on this, all right? Oh my goodness. So call for backup. If you need backup, go, you know, talk to the ancestors, talk to them. 
you know, the police, I don't know, do something, all right? You got you can do it. This could be lack of motivations or get the motivations to be able to achieve. Well done, okay? This could be directly connected to gifts or a giving or a receiving on some level. I just heard the words magical fantasy. So magical and fantasy as well that could be involved um pied piper is coming through which is actually quite interesting try not to get hypnotized um you know with by something or someone or whatever else have a good look at that i'm getting snake eyes mate snake eyes all right so have a good look at that all right um so that could be symbolic and talking on any level guys uh we've got positive change love abounds drop into that as well, positive change is apparent, which is fantastic, okay? Normally when this is in the reverse, this is a call for positive change. This insinuates um, that we, the positive change is apparent. We've got mother, wife, sister, daughter, feminine energy could be involved, uh, challenges, obstacles, overcome here for someone, um, but could be involved in some way, all right? Maybe going through significant challenges or obstacles. You are seeing the situation accurately, okay? And this could be actually a deal. Um, I'm hearing tales of, of significance, so we need to look at that. So this is either lies of significance or stories of significance, okay? It doesn't mean that it's either, you know, truth or lie or whatever, but we really need to have a good look at these things, okay? And um, accurately assess something here. And they're still showing me that magnifying glass and looking into it, all right? All right, my video is about to cut out, guys. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Namaste is coming through again, so namaste about to you in sacred service and duty. I love you guys so much, and uh, blessings proceed this very moment. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon, all right? I'll get some more videos done uh, as soon as I can, all right? As soon as I can. All right, but thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. All right, I'll see you guys. See you.